Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Mike Britton. In today's video, I'm going to take you through part one of our four part series that's just an intro to CamWorks and SolidWorks Cam. Before we get too deep into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So, SolidWorks Cam and CamWorks are feature and knowledge based cam suites, and I'm referring to them collectively in this video because they are just different versions of the same product. SOLIDWORKS CAM standard is included in every subscription seat of SOLIDWORKS and as you go up the chain you enter into CAMWORKS for increasingly advanced capabilities. So if you're interested in any of the advantages that I'm showing you in these videos you're welcome to try it as long as you're on subscription. Let's get started. First, what is feature-based CAM? Much like how SOLIDWORKS is feature-based parametric CAD, CAMWORKS is feature-based machining software. Instead of defining boundaries and surfaces like you do in a lot of other CAM suites, the CAM data is linked into your CAD data. This means that CAMWORKS maintains associativity with your SOLIDWORKS CAD, and when design updates are made, your CAM automatically updates. We're going to be spending this first video on that topic. The other half of the coin, though, is the knowledge-based CAM. Uh, I've been around the block a couple times on different CAM softwares, and every single time you need to program something for a CNC machine, you need to make some tweaks. Knowledge-based machining, though, allows you to save those tweaks back to your database so that you don't have to go through all the hassle of doing those later. You can take what you know works and apply it every single time you create a new part like that. And we can save these tweaks on a variety of different bases. We can do it on the feature level, so for strategies, and that's also what we'll be touching on in this series. We can do it at the operation level, so you know, any kind of parameters like step down and things like that. We can even save our tweaks to only be applied to particular materials or material classes. And we can save tweaks to only be used on particular machines. We've all got the odd one out in the machine shop, the, you know, one machine that doesn't behave quite like all the others. You can build that into your CAM process using your knowledge-based machining strategies. And we can even do it at the tool level too. So, you know, vendors will often have specialized tools that have dedicated feeds and speeds for particular materials or We'll find ones that actually work in our environment and we can save those back to our TechDB. These are all saved, I've said TechDB a few times, to your technology database. And by saving these tweaks, we can speed up our future machining time. So when we bring it all together, by maintaining our associativity with our SOLIDWORKS CAD and saving our you know, individual shop strategies to the technology database, CAMWORKS is an extremely powerful automation tool. Every time a part is programmed and we create new strategies, we can save those tweaks and that'll speed up future parts like that. And the end goal is a nearly automated CAM tool. So we'll hop on over to SOLIDWORKS and we'll take a look at at least the associativity elements in action. We'll be spending the other videos in this series kind of pulling it all together. Here we are in SOLIDWORKS, and we have a pretty simple part here. We can see that there's this octagonal boss with a circular pocket in the middle. I click that circular pocket, we can see that the diameter there is governed by an equation. We'll come back to that in a moment. I'm gonna come over to my CAMWORKS operation tree. We can see that I have some CAM data associated with this. I have some tool pads already generated for this circular pocket. I come back over to my SOLIDWORKS feature tab and I update the equation that governs this interior circle. Update that to 120 millimeters, make it a little smaller. We can see that it's shrunk. When I come back to my operation tree, I rebuild my CAD data. We can see 
that following that CAD data, my CAM data has also updated. So that's maintaining the associativity. We'll talk about customizing our strategies and setting up our technology database a little bit more in the future videos. But that is just one of the advantages that are attached to this feature and knowledge-based machining platform. That's everything for now, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic that you'd like us to cover in a future video. You can visit our website, goengineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Until then, I'll see you in part two, where we start customizing our technology database to set ourselves up for saving that knowledge and that knowledge-based machining. Take care and see you then.